In this video, we're going to look at data validation and what that means and how we do it. Now, it's a little bit time consuming to have to type in every time the subject name or whatever data we need to type in. It would be much easier if we could just choose from a drop down list and then everything else happens automatically. And that is actually much easier than you think. So this is what we're going to do. We click on data. I'm inside cell D2. This is where I'm going to put my data validation. I'm going to my data tools group and there we have data validation. Click on data validation and here we have our settings. In terms of settings, it says validation criteria. Allow the following, any value. Well, we don't want to allow any value. We want to have a list that someone can choose from. So let's see what's available. We can pick from any one of these available items here. We're going to choose list. Now that I've chosen list, it's uh, ready to have the source set and I need to tell it like, well, where is this source? Where is this list? So I just click inside source and I go over here. My list is the subjects from English, Afrikaans, maths down all the way to business. There is my list. So what I've done now is I've, I've validated the cell. So when someone clicks on that cell, it then knows it can actually give them those options to choose from. Let's have a look and see what that does. Click OK. You'll notice you get this little arrow on the corner of the uh, cell. So let's have a look and see what happens when I click on it. Voila, I now have a list, a drop-down list. And the beauty of this is I can select any one of these subjects and everything else is automatic. However, there's a little bit more we can do with data validation. Back to data validation. We have these two tabs here, input message and error alert. Input message, show input message when the cell is selected. So we will give the person a little uh, bit of information. Please note, use the drop down to select a subject. There we go. Click, oh, I won't click OK, I've got an error alert. And, oh dear, you can only use a valid choice. I don't know, something like that. So what I've done here is I've provided an input message. So when somebody clicks on the cell, it's going to pop up a little message telling them what is expected of them and what they can do. If they go and select or type in something that is not in my list, I give them a message to the contrary. So have a look here. Click OK. And if I click on the cell, there's my message. I can even just put it wherever I want it to go. Please note, use the drop down to select sub. Great. So they can go ahead and click to their heart's content. If someone types in something, and this is how we validate data, because obviously we don't want to have people with different spellings of words. So if somebody types in the word um, English and they leave out the H, for example, and they try and move on from that cell, up pops my Odia, oh you can only use a valid choice or whatever message you may have typed. Retry or cancel. Retry will take you back and you can then correct your error. Or if we click on cancel, it'll just cancel that altogether. And that's what data validation does in an Excel spreadsheet. Very, very handy and very powerful as well.